good morning it is folks we're all very tired now it's all right we've got 280 miles to do he's just trying to look not tired he should have seen him putting his tent away i was hoping to film it but i couldn't get the camera in time that was it was like a reimagination of the benny hill sketches but maybe tomorrow so thank you for joining us Today we're heading for the most westerly point and this campsite we've been on last night has been absolutely stunning. Quiet, nice flat ground, the facilities are beautiful and you're right on the edge of that river. So peaceful we sat and had our dinner by the last night. We decided not to film anything because uh, I think we were all too tired to talk really. We were just kind of eating and staring at each other. But uh, I'm feeling a bit of a slow burn this morning. But we're back in the saddle. So we got fuel folks and we are on our way to the westest point. Uh, we've covered a few miles since then but it's getting particularly nice now. It's a lovely body of water to the left. Absolutely stunning. We're having a great day. Get over here. And we get to go on a boat today so I'm looking forward to that. Um, we have come across a problem though. It's looking like the front right caliper on this wheel is a little bit on the sticky side. Um, and it's backing the pads off. So on occasion I'm going for the front brake and I'm having to do a, like a double tap at the brake to get the pistons to push back out. So, might need to see if I can do something about that. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do, but we'll have to have a look. I'll get the slide pins out. I do with a 14 mil socket, but I don't think I bought one with me. Anybody else has got anything on them? So yeah, that's making the ride a bit more interesting. Just hope we don't get too much brake fade. It's a good job I'm not on like really like snaky, you know, high demanding roads. <laughs> I am tired today. I am really tired. 783 miles. We should get to halfway at least. Hmm, you're in my head off. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. There we are folks, we have just passed through Loch Ness. Absolutely beautiful place. The clouds are coming in though. We got the threat of rain, I think. My uh, estimation will be about midday. We'll be getting the waterproofs out. Let's see how wet we can get. Oh. It's getting sore in the saddle, that's for sure. But we're making it happen. The biker buddy's having a bit of trouble. He's, uh, his rear suspension is uh, pretty much done for, I think. Um, they're saying uh, getting quite out of sorts in corners, pogoing and all sorts. But uh, he's still going, still doing it making it happen. Just gotta keep going. Oh nearly at 800 mile as well. Oh dear. Struggling with the legs. Yeah. 
here we go fine folks so we've just pulled over and uh, now got the waterproofs on because the heavens are opening just to make it that little bit worse god this is hard work we've done a bit of a tyre pressure check on bike buddy's bike and it was low so props to me good spot and uh but it does seem that damper is uh, having a good leak, so that's unfortunate. I'm sorry if you can't see, it's probably a bit of water on the lens. Definitely on that one. Give that a bit of a wipe, might help, might make it worse. So there's it, nice and warm where you are. <laughs> Dry, because it isn't here. Oh, but it's still picturesque. So. I know everything. Here we go. pain now. Just sore everywhere. We still like we're gonna get halfway today. Which would be nice. Got a nice little campsite down Loch Lomond. Lovely little project up here on the left, guys. If anybody wants to build something, overlooking a lake, look. How does stuff like that get into disrepair? In a place like this, that's just remarkable. Imagine what that would make as a hotel. We're in the mix of showers and not showers. But, uh, yeah. We're soldiering on. The sights of Scotland are uh, making it bearable. Got like a mussel farm there, I think. Interestingly, or not, depending on your viewpoint, I didn't realise, um, according to regulations of food health, um, because if mussels come from fresh water in Scotland, um, they're actually uh, more valuable to a restaurant. Um, so what they can actually do is they can... Uh, you can catch mussels from uh, another waterway somewhere. Um, I can't remember whether it was like 48, 72 hours or something like that. But the, uh, yeah, they can catch them from elsewhere where they wouldn't be as valuable. They can bring them to a waterway like this, put them into the um, farm containers like that, and after so many hours, the mussels will have absorbed enough minerals out of the water that you can say that they are freshwater Scottish caught mussels. I think it's freshwater. I don't know the specifics of it, but anyway, yeah, you can take them from where they were caught, put them in some water somewhere else, as long as they're there for a, a few days, and then, uh, you know, breakdown tests say that the minerals match up to the water you're saying you, you got them from. There you go. Don't believe all you read on a menu, that's what I say. <laughs> what a place. <sighs> another half a tank of fuel gone, and uh, 860 miles in. It's 
strange. It's not as long to get my legs under me now. You do reach a point, it's, it's bizarre. There's a certain distance and it's like, oh my god, I don't, I don't think I can do any more. And then you push through it a little bit and then all of a sudden the seat doesn't feel uncomfortable. You're just down along eating up the balls. And then you come across things like this. And it's just... Beyond belief. Here we go folks, we are on the road to the most westerly point. I don't know how long along this little track it is. But it was signposted. Unless you just turn the camera off. And uh yeah. We went past the sign, so sorry about that. But take our way along this track now for however long and we will get there. And record regardless. Wayward. That looks like Jurassic Park. Why would you pick that fence? Not unless you're a Jurassic Park fan, I suppose. We're getting there. We're getting there. Another thing, I quite enjoy riding around Wales, but Scotland's got it pegged because this is just unbeatable in my eyes. A lot of people really like riding across Europe, I quite like to do a bit of Spain at some point. But this is, even on a day like today, it's mostly overcast. As long as it isn't pouring down. I think we're filming for long. So it's glorious weather. And we made it to the westerly point. And it's his fault. God. Oh. Truth be told, the brake issue is back. I was running down there and uh, very nearly put myself on my arse. But uh, we've made it. He's made it. Oh, there. And he's made it and all. I think I'm going to see you at the campsite. Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>